Right, hi everybody! Caroline Best here, Dalv Horsemanship, Everything Horses and More. As you all know, I always like to show you everything. That's why it's called Everything Horses and More. What it's like every time I go to ask my horses to be with me. It's always like this. It's wonderful. And that's what I keep trying to prove to all of you is that anytime, any place, you can ask your horse to join you and be with you. And this is what makes the most amazing relationship ever and also what is going to give you safety. So it is important. So I am going to grab my little friend right here called the carriage whip. Yep, just like when you say to your child, that's it. There three strikes and you're out. I'm not going to ask more than three times. Two. Oh, it doesn't get much better than this. Mm. I love you too. Today's video is part of the Riding Basics, Everything You Should Know, the continuation. We have 11 areas to riding, to, to basic areas. They're basic, but they're areas that I have found over the years that my students at, at whatever level of riding in any discipline aren't 100% sure of or they're not doing it. And so these 11 areas are part of my pre-flight to riding, as I call it, how to prepare your horse. And we're not doing any groundwork. This is just how to, when your horse is at a level where lovey is and you're ready to get on and ride, I'd like you guys to check and to work on these areas because they're going to be able like a barometer to tell you when you're ready to take it to the next level in your riding or not. But we're not just going to get on and ride. That's the point I'm making. We need to talk about all the other areas that show up when you're getting ready to get on and start your riding. All those areas that are so important to staying safe and connected to your horse and not being in a position where you feel like you've got to fight. So again, today's video is riding basics, what every rider needs to know. And we are on rule number two, pre-flight. And all of this is focuses on my method, my training approach. This isn't just bits and pieces on how to fix anything. This is all about my way of riding. So you've got to get your horse developed to this point, and then you go to get on and it's like that. So yes, all the horses have to help you. That gate's a little too low. Yep, and she's gonna learn exactly. Good girl. Last week I showed you how to mount in a dressage saddle, dismount in a dressage saddle, how to mount in a bareback pad, dismount in a bareback pad. Um, last week's video, we're doing short trailers or commercials now on the, my YouTube channel. And they're short videos or commercials of the long training video. So you have to sign up to get this long training video. I showed you in the long full length video, rule number one, getting permission to mount, I showed you how to mount from the ground in my dressage saddle. Come on, you can open the gate. And I also showed you how to mount with two inches of slack in your girth. Come on. Well, come on in here. Gate's open. Come on. So rule number two is your pre-flight to riding. There's five specific areas I want to check before I ride off. Now I already had pre-flight to mounting. You already saw how connected she was and loving for me to get on. So now for you guys, if you're just mounting your horse and you have permission to get on, you, there are five specific areas with the first one being I teach this on the ground and I talk a lot about it in my groundwork. So most of my groundwork, well, it's very complex to begin with. And I have three styles of lunging. 
So not only are we developing self-carriage and the fluidity of the movement in your horse and the mind and all these wonderful things through my groundwork, specifically my lunging, we're also developing you as a rider. So if you're following my method and my program, you've already developed that. So by the time you get on, you're going to do the same body scan. And when you're sitting on your horse, can you feel your balance point? So your body scan is huge. Can you feel your, your balance point? Where is your balance point? It's between, so you've got to find that spot. That is your balance point, your center of gravity. Number three, we are going to be able to pick up the reins and shouldn't be that way. Your seat is the captain. Your seat in your focus, in your mind, in your body energy is what tells the horse where to go. I want to make sure that I have forward, I have halt, and I have backup, and I have suppling. I'm able to bend my horse, and I'm not looking for rubbernecking. She knows how to rubberneck and break at the middle of her neck. Sure, you're always going to want that too, but specifically the level of suppling that I teach, which is your basic foundation to dressage, because we're going to need all of that, what I just showed you with the halt in all of our walk and trot and canter as we keep developing the movement because that's all part of your shoulder four and your shoulder in and helping her to bend into the gymnastics that are needed more with the haunches to develop even more balance and strength in the riding. So that's rule number two, your pre-flight checking all your buttons and checking yourself most importantly before you get ready to go out, off into your ride, your warm up. So stay tuned for next week, rule number three. Thank you. I look forward to your comments and may you always be one with your horse.